So dynamically changing maps, you know, it, Levolution isn't just set pieces or destruction. Levolution is much more than that. It's how you adapt to the map. So shoot out lights, use your RMV side to go take out the enemies, show off the power to the elevator, uh, make the skyscraper come down as you saw during E3. Big ship here that we're playing uh, on this map, Parasol Storm, crashing into the island. Some people are going to get very scared when that comes in. Just creates new new areas of gameplay. You know, we, we thought about destruction for a while. It's, it's, a, it's a trademark of Battlefield, you know, to be able to destroy and flatten things on the map. And um, for single player and multiplayer, we feel that this is this is what we need, you know. And, and our players want it. And we, we, we like it a lot. We like blowing stuff up. Uh, so more destruction, better destruction, and good stuff. A lot of our players loved the single player in Battlefield 3 and you know just bringing them a new experience like this one in Battlefield 4 it's uh, the tone is still you know dark it's a serious tone uh, you get emotionally attached to the characters so uh, in my opinion I don't, I don't work on single player so I'm the wrong person to ask but from what I've played myself as a fan truly as a fan I like it a lot and I think we're hitting all the right spots right now Obliteration is uh, a very obj objective oriented uh, game mode, very team, team uh, player oriented. So you need to play as a team, you have to stick together to your team, you have to play the objective. So Obliteration is, there's a bomb spawning on the map. One bomb, two teams fighting about that bomb, and they need to arm each other's crates. There are three crates on each side, and the first team that loses their crates, they lose. It is fast paced, it's extremely fun, and I think we have we had an even longer line here than we've had over at the Conquest Large booth. Because Conquest Large is um, it's significant, it's a trademark for uh, Battlefield 4, but coming out with new stuff like this, it's just, people have asked us for this, they, they gave us feedback, we listened, and here we are, two booths. When we release expansion packs, we don't, we don't just want to release maps, we don't just want to release something that doesn't feel right you know so if you look at our history of releasing expansion packs going from back company 2 to back company 2 vietnam even further back to bf2 when i was still in high school playing battlefield 2 you know we always have themed expansion packs and i think that's what garnered the success so much for battlefield 3 is that we always came out with new revolutionary things for us in the studio that was fun to play with as well ac 130 we came out with the scavenger mode all that kind of stuff you know, the close quarters with the hd destruction so i i, I think Players can look forward to an amazing premium service. We have a very, very talented team sitting on that. And also, good, good content. So the beta is coming out on the 1st of October. Uh, Three days for premium members, then it's an open beta. Uh, the game is out on 29th in the USA and 31st in the rest of Europe. Played Battlefield 4 in the multiplayer game, a new uh, kind of game type. Then the first team who killed um, or, or destroys all enemy bombs wins, or otherwise the team with the most bombs left still wins. That did a lot of fun. I never played Battlefield before in my whole life. I was playing a little bit Modern Warfare 2 and a little bit COD 4. Uh, that's also my experience about uh, shooter, shooter if you want so. But I was really impressed. You got a huge world, you got a lot of, lot of action you can take, you can involve with the environment. I'm um, thrilled. Hey guys, this is Donny Matos, producer at DICE. Don't forget to watch Battlefield Portal. Don't forget to check out all the awesome stuff they have live from Gamescom.